this isn't a heart transplant. Like I don't have a team of 75 doctors and the uh, new boiler is already running in the garage and we're just going to pinch off the lines and bring it in and, you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> we'll have wasted another hour. Oh boy. Andy, That's how you right. doing, man? Good, good, good. It's all in the name of content, Eric. It is. It's, it's all wasted. content. Hit record or we're going to lose it. Okay, guys, welcome to the Make Craig Great Again podcast. Marty kind of, uh, you can't get the words out of my mouth. Yes. <laughs> uh, I want to thank everybody, first of all, uh, before we get to the end, I want to do it right at the beginning, Andy. Uh, I want to thank everybody for listening uh, every week. We do truly appreciate it. We get messages on, on uh, over on Instagram quite often, almost every single day. And uh, thanks for sharing links to our podcast and everything in your stories or wherever you're at, wherever you find us. If you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit like, subscribe, share it with a friend. Uh, truly do appreciate that. And we also already, we appreciate you for being here. So Andy, I hit record <clears throat> because lately we've had a hard time. <laughs> we've been just talking the whole time we're yeah. in studio instead of hit, you know recording what we're talking about. I wanted to bring this up. Um, I had a job recently. It was a boiler job. It was replacing a, a like a twenty year old Badaris. Yeah, uh, you've seen videos from the job and everything on Instagram. But anyway. Uh, job just like every other right I, it's nothing really out of the ordinary for me and uh, a lot of prep ahead of time uh did a little bit of prefab in the shop things that really honestly i can say without a without a doubt made my job go way faster i think i was telling you that when we were talking on the phone uh while right. i was working on the job how fast i was like i'm i'm like less than like i was a day Almost it's like one full work day because I over the course of two days right. before I had the heat back on. That was a pretty, it was a fast <laughs> turnaround to tear out right. with a boiler and a water heater. But anyway, I'm rambling. I want to get to the point here. Yeah. Prep ahead of time, all this stuff on my end, like mechanically, logistically, getting everything ready to go. And I promise you, I prepped this homeowner quite a bit in conversations as leading yeah. up to this job. When they, when they signed the dotted line saying, yeah, here's our deposit. Go ahead and order the materials. Let's get this thing done. <clears throat> I had prepped this customer and I'm, uh, here's what I'm getting at. I show up day of job and I'm like, okay. <laughs> or no, I it was show up day before I, here's one of the things that actually did. Uh, I can't say it was like prefab and it made my job go faster uh, because it was to technically on site, but I did deliver sure. the boiler and water heater the day before. I had a little okay. bit of time at the end of my, you know, in an yeah. afternoon, the day before I was going to start the job. And I'm like, you know what? It's supposed to snow tomorrow. Gosh, wouldn't it be just smart right now? Sweet. I text yeah. the guy and I'm like, hey, is anybody around or can I get a garage code or something? I just want to bring this stuff, put it in your basement. He's like, heck yeah. You know, so I did that. But anyway, yeah. so I'm there that night, the night before, day, afternoon before, and I prepped him. And I'm like, look, your heat is going to be off for probably two days. It could right. be longer if something doesn't go quite right, but yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm optimistic. It's going to be two days. You're not going to have heat. And they're like, right. Oh my gosh. I mean, they, <laughs> they looked at me like they just met and I was speaking yeah. another language and yeah. like, they didn't even like, we had never talked about this before. And I promise yeah. you I did. And then I look over, I'm like, but you have two fireplaces, one downstairs, one upstairs. You know, we're standing 10 feet away from the one upstairs. And I'm like, but you have two fireplaces and I promise you, your house is not going to get so cold in the next two days. Right. Uh, Cause it's like, you know, it's a 20, 20 year old house. It's not like, yeah, it's not like it's poorly built or anything. You know, it's going to hold the heat big time. Yeah. And I thought that was the end of the conversation. <laughs> They're like, they, I had to like talk <laughs> them off the ledge. Like they were yeah. like, like we let's wait till our, March. Yeah. Are we yeah. going to have to run our ovens or like. You know, should I get some space heaters? I'm like, well, I mean, if you want to get space heaters, totally, that's that's fine. But I, I'm pretty sure you're going to be okay. Yeah. Do you like it, like, really warm when you sleep? Or, oh, no, we like it cold. I'm like, well, okay. I mean, I don't think this is going to be an issue. <laughs> Good. It's going to be kind of chilly. Um, no. <laughs> but I said, you turn the fireplace on, you probably realize, like, how much heat that actually puts out. You're going to get a little warm. 
oh, I don't know. And just a look in their eyes. Maybe I misread it, but it was like panic. <laughs> panic. <laughs> yeah. And so I thought, like I said, I thought that was the end of the conversation. I thought I had eased yeah. them through it. And I'm like, I don't know what else to say other than just to say it. And I was being very polite about it. And I'm like, it'll be okay. I need you to know it's going to be okay. Uh, if something goes wrong, I have heaters and I, you know, I will make sure right. that this gets done. Um, and they're like, well, you're going to have to shut our water off. And that's when it hit me. And I'm like, these people have not been listening right? They, to any of our conversations. I said to the water, shutting the water off question, like literally that was the question. Are you going to have to shut our water off? The answer is yes, but only for a very short amount of time. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to reroute some plumbing from the water heater. So that is going to require me to shut it off. And what I'm going to do is, you know, sacrifice two press ball valves and be like, who cares? It is what it's the cost yeah. of doing business at this point. And, uh, which I've figured into the job every time. Sure. Um, but it's really like basically donating a couple valves that I don't need otherwise. That you're never going to use again. <laughs> right. They're just right. there so I can get their water back on kind of deal yeah. without a water heater attached to it. And um, yeah. and they were like, well, how long is that going to take? And I'm like, geez, I know we talked about this. So now I'm feeling like almost like, did I forget to have this conversation? I know it doesn't sound yeah. that dire as I'm trying to explain it, but I'm in the moment as I'm standing there going, Yep. Wait a minute. Where was I when all of this happened? Because in my head, we have this conversation every right. time we talk. About, like, it's always at the part where, tell us a little bit more about how this is going to go. And then they're handing you the deposit. Or then they, right. or over the phone, they're like, yeah, okay, let's go with it. These are conversations yeah. that are very much, um, they're very normal. And they're always in that kind of that stage of, well, we're really considering doing it. Well, can you tell us a little bit more, right? And that's when I tell them, like, look, your water's going to yeah. be off for an hour or two or 20 minutes. Yeah. It's like, it's yeah, not going to be that disruptive. If you're off at work, you'll never know. Uh, you won't even know. Yeah. Yeah. It, and I always tell people, too, like, jokingly, <laughs> but we're not jokingly, like, suggestively, like, hey, if you got a cabin or you want to, you know, if you got a vacation coming up or something, do you want me to do it then? Because I don't want right. to inconvenience you, and you're not going to love yeah. me when you don't have heat or you don't have hot yep. water. So the the hot water question, I was like, or the water question, I'm like, yeah, it's going to be off, but only for like 20 minutes, no big deal. I just have to cut some yeah. pipes. And I said, however long it takes me to, you know, drain down some pipes and whatnot, it's really not that big sure. a deal. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. And I said something like, you know, I just have to cut the old water heater out. Oh, you're doing, you're we're getting a new water heater? And I'm like... <laughs> you're paying a lot of money for a new water heater so now i'm starting to think like these are just it's just these people you know yeah, like, they just they just don't understand what that is they're buying yep right and i wonder <clears throat> if that's a a pro if that's a result of my leading into this whole process but i mean they oh, trust sure. me trust me even the 50 percent deposit was a big check right 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 so obviously there's a lot of trust uh, other, uh, either that or they like, they just, you know, maybe they burn money in their fireplace, but their gas fireplace. <laughs> I hope they don't burn money in it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I, I just lost in this whole conversation. I'm kind of like trying not to yeah. show <laughs> Hi, it. Hi, I'm Eric. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm just trying not to like uh, my poker face. I'm like really working on that <laughs> yeah. poker yeah. face right now. Cause I'm like. I kind of, I could feel myself like I am right now, kind of like looking off into the distance while the person's like yeah. right here in front of me. And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know what to say right now. Yes. I, your I, water heater is going to be replaced. That was a actually a pretty large portion of the cost of the job. Um, I didn't say it like that. It's like, oh yeah, no yeah. new water heater is going to be great. You know, that's something like probably right. what I said. And, uh, yeah. And they're like, well, do you, they said, they just, they, they, they're not understanding. And then they're asking me like, well, how long are we not going to have hot water? And I'm like, well, the entire time you don't have heat. Right. Because they don't understand I, that their existing water heater is powered by their existing boiler. And the new water heater is going to be powered exactly. by the new boiler. Like, do you understand what I, am I explaining? This? Yeah, no, <laughs> okay. totally. I, I mean, it's, 
it's one of those, it's one of those things where I, and we've talked about it before where, you know, so, sometimes I, you know, I've said that, you know, the customer hears what they want to hear. Yeah. Right. And, and sure. you came in and said, you know, Hey, yeah, you need a new boiler and okay. <laughs> and we're going to give you a new water heater. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, and then you give them a bid and they're like, okay. Well, you know, and, and it's, it, and they're not, and, and I don't want to make them come or make it sound like I think these people are not intelligent right. because that's not the case. They just don't fact either. don't, they are a hundred percent uncomfortable in this conversation and they yeah. don't want to like irritate you or annoy you or whatever, because they don't understand. And they're, they're pretty right. confident. I, I, I think so too. I think they feel like they are confident. That regardless in what you say, you will be talking in like Chinese to them and they will understand nothing of what you're going to say. Right. And therefore everything is a new conversation. And, and I've, I've, I've run into that before and I don't know how you, I don't know how you prepare any different for it. I don't because either. If, I if, mean, that wasn't a presentation type of like, I didn't hand sure. them like a, my iPad and be like, and this is what the boiler looks like. And this is the water, you know, like it wasn't anything like that. I don't really yeah. do that. Um, I probably would be more successful if I did. Uh, but it, I didn't have any like props for them. I just had, you know, sure. I did, I give them that presentation, um, the proposal tool that we yeah, use the proposal. With the software. Yeah. And, uh, do you so send that to a picture them? there, but yeah, uh, I, I I've been a and this I, for whatever it's worth. Um, I have been taking a link to because we sell Viesman, right? Yeah, I just have a link to Viesman's uh, 100 series if that's what I'm selling. Yeah, their 100 series web page. Put that on there, and that way, if the customer has inner interest, they can click on it. They can look at the pictures. They like can read on the proposal itself. Yep, yep. Can and you, that way, so when they're on the at their computer, link when it goes to them. I don't, I've had, or had either that or they can copy paste that into their search browser. That's true. I mean, most people I should try are, sending it to myself to see what it looks like. I always attach a bro, the brochure. I get rid okay. of that last page with the specs on it because I don't want people asking, what model number are you putting in? Like, yeah. I, I was just, I spell it out. You know, we're going to put in a, one, a B1HE85 and um, this 42 gallon indirect and, and it, I don't know. I, I think it's Im- important on that note, because especially when you get people that are shopping, if they got multiple numbers, because that's the next question. What are you going to put in? Yeah, I don't get that a lot, but I know what you mean. Uh, I yeah. don't put it in there like that uh, just because of the way I've typed it up. And it seems to be working for I, – I don't argue against it by any means. I used to right. do it that way. I mean, that was the only way I did it forever and ever. And then sure. I kind of just was trying to streamline how the – the bid process looked and I just started removing those model numbers. Cause I just felt like it was starting. It also does start some conversations that are more or less, um, unproductive, you know, like, yep. well, what about a one twenty instead of an 85? That seems uh, better. It's bigger. I'm yep. like, well, no, it's not. And you know, actually you probably only need <laughs> 25,000, but I can't give you that. So there you go. You know, <laughs> right. So you get an 85. <laughs> yeah. So you're getting an 85 and no, um, that's why, honestly, that's why I'm there. We don't even need to get. That's a, another conversation, but uh, yeah, the the it's not. You know, we bring it up because it's, it makes it easier to describe. But like that language barrier aspect of it, like yeah, we're speaking a different language in a lot of cases. You're right. I've talked about that. I I can remember ten years ago writing about that for the website. Like, mm-hmm. if you get too into the weeds with technical jargon, and you know, you can if you're paying attention. If you're any good at, you know, interpersonal communication, you probably see your customer's eyes roll back in the in their head and like, I don't even know what this person's talking about. To some people, they don't, you know. It's not right. They're not the technician, you know, they're the customer. And a lot right. of times they don't need to understand all of that. But it's funny when you get to the point where like, I'm going to be cutting this stuff out tomorrow. Do you understand right. what I'm doing at all? Because <laughs> right. right. And then they're like, well, how long it was? It? So this is the same conversation. Okay, so I get through yeah. the, you're not going to have hot water for a couple of days. And I just kind of, I do the humility thing. Like, I'm really, I'm going to tell you right now, I think I, I'm, if I can act at all, it's this. I'm like, oh, you're going to hate me. I, but I could take it. 
I want it, you know, I understand you're going to be upset. You're not going to have a hot right. shower. It gets a little annoying. That's my fault. Don't blame anybody else but me. I'm so sorry. I get, I, I go into that and I'm like, <laughs> you know, laughing and they're like, oh, don't worry. And that's what the reaction I want from them is like, oh, right. no, I get it. Because I, yeah. I know it is annoying to not have hot water in yeah. your house. Um, and I'm the source of that annoyance. <laughs> So, right. you know, I want them to know, like, look, I, I get you're not going to be happy. I try to make very clear that this is going to be a thing. I don't dwell on it. I don't want to, you know, ram it home. But I want them to know, too, that I take it serious. Like, look, this is uh, this is what you're going to do. This is what, what how long you're going to have to put up with it. And then that was the next question was, well, wait a minute, a couple days. Like, I just had just told them they're not going to have heat for maybe a couple days, that they're not going to have hot water for a couple right. that same amount of time. And then after all of this, they're like, wait, a couple days. Yeah. I need yeah. to do a better job, apparently, explaining that this I, uh, maybe it's maybe it wasn't brought up in the initial conversation yeah. with these people, yeah. but they were blown away that this wasn't going to be done in an afternoon. Right. I've got a um I should I should send it to you. I've got a like a little paragraph that I put at the bottom of all of those boiler proposals. Yeah. Because it alleviates so many problems. Like refer back to the instruction manual. <laughs> you yeah. Know what yeah. I mean? And and it's it's kind of that thing that where you I don't know what you know where the disconnect is because some customers are, are just, you know, all up in your face. Hey, can I watch you do the install? Yeah. You know. Right. And, you know, you get that customer and then you get the other customer that you come upstairs and they're, you know, sitting behind the couch. Um, and you're yeah. just like, I, I'm not here for anything in your home other than your boiler. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? yeah. I, yeah. you mean they're hiding? Like, <laughs> like, you, gonna, like you, gonna you, gonna you I mean, bedroom? yeah. <laughs> yeah. So oh, I, I don't know. It's, uh, it is interesting though, to, to see the different you know, the different customer reactions to I'm shutting your water off. I'm going to shut the gas off is another one. Like, oh, you have to work on the gas. Yeah. Like, you know how to do that. Yep. Yep. I got this. Yep. That's you part know. of the whole job of your gas yep. heating system. <laughs> no, I know it's, uh, it was just, I was, I was standing there kind of scratching my head and I've reflected on it a little bit more so in this conversation, admittedly, but I've thought about it a little bit since then. And like I've said right. already today, I'm like, I don't know that I didn't say all this because I, I swear I did. I swear I did. So I guess, honestly, that I'm realizing now as we're talking about it, I I have probably been doing everything you know, just good enough to this point, but there's probably a better way of like yeah. systemizing it. Maybe like you're saying the wording, the paragraph added on like, so it's, so I know it's there. Uh, but even making sure that the conversation is had, look, I, like I said a minute ago, like I wasn't, I don't try to dwell on the fact, like, but I kind of joke around like, Hey, not going to have a hot shower. That's on me. You're going to be annoyed by me, but I'm sorry. You know, like I do that to kind of humanize all of this. Like this is yeah. less of a transaction than it is. Like I'm going to work hard for you uh, and try to get this done as soon as possible. But I under, I acknowledge that you're going to be annoyed by the whole process. Um, that's what the, I think that kind of interaction, I hope that's what people take away from it is that they realize like I, I'm acknowledging that this is not going to be. Yeah. At one moment in time, you're going to be annoyed by me. That That's basically it, right? <laughs> yeah. And yep. then I think people take away from that that I take it serious. So uh, there's that aspect of it. But apparently I need to, going into the conversation, say, this is what you need. Here's why. Here's how I diagnosed it. Here's what I recommend. And yep. if you go with this recommendation, this is the, like, this is how it's going to play out. I probably yeah. would benefit from like really stopping thinking, taking some time in my office, put to, you know, maybe for me, it's a lot of writing that down. And once I yeah. write things down, I could kind of process it, commit it to memory. And then I'll have to think about that. Maybe look at that writing before I go to talk to my next customer. And if I start doing it, it becomes a habit habit. But 
apparently my well, process is off because <laughs> people yeah. are totally unaware that I'm going to shut their heat off for two days so I can put a new heating system in. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and I think that's where that, uh, having that disclaimer right on the, on the, the, uh, on the proposal. It can, and, and this is something I found too, because we used to have it like in our terms. Yeah. People don't read terms. Oh, and God, I don't know no. why I, They're only I don't read terms. There. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, I don't there. read I... terms when Sorry. I did get a new phone, I don't, you know, or right. whatever. So it's like, why would I expect my customer to go to the bottom of the term section and go, oh, here's some notes about your installation. Yeah. You know? And so it's uh, what <laughs> I've been doing in our proposals. Cinnamon or nutmeg in the house. I'm allergic. No. <laughs> right. Is, you know, there's a description of what it is we're doing. Then there's this disclaimer of, hey, here's, here's what we anticipate this is going to take. And you're going to have your heat off. We're going to have your water off. Your cold water might be off for a little bit. And then we're going to put in a couple of space heaters if you need them, um, or we can provide a couple if you need them. And then at below that is those uh, equipment links. And that way it's like, you know, you have to go down past that stuff to get to the other meat and potatoes of it. And I don't know. We've we've had a lot fewer people question duration of install. And then when we say, hey, you know, it's 5 o'clock and we're leaving for the first night. Um, we got your cold water on, your heat's off and your hot water's off. They're like, okay, sounds good. Well, we're going to hit the gym in the morning and you know. Yeah. Um, that is more, that's a more normal conversation for me. That that's a normal yeah. situation. Sure. Um, which is, I think is what <laughs> kind of took me back and, but it did make <laughs> yeah. me think like I probably dropped the ball somewhere on this. You know, yeah. or like we said earlier, maybe they just, that's just, they don't they, know. Yeah, they, they don't comprehend. Yeah, or they don't want to, they feel like they just need to trust me and they, they don't want to uh, sound stupid by asking questions. I don't know. I don't, right. they wouldn't sound, that's not me, but people don't know that. No. Yeah. I, the, you bring up the gym though. <laughs> I do say that often, like in that conversation, like, well, you're not going to have hot water, blah, 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 you know. I'm like, if you got a gym membership, you probably take a shower there. You know, I just kind of give them that kind of little, I don't yeah. know, you know. Yeah. Planet uh, Fitness again, is nine ninety five a month. Too much. What's that? <laughs> Planet Fitness is nine ninety five a month or yeah. whatever. <laughs> Here's my key fob. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> don't talk to the lady at the front desk. All yep. right. Yeah. No. Jan, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna work on that. That's that's something I need to just revisit if anything. Like I said, maybe it's yeah. just in my process is off a little bit. Well, I can always, I could always improve things. There's no doubt about that. Right. But, but what I've found is that if I put it on the proposal, every time I sent it, every yeah, time. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I, I no, yeah, acknowledge you know, that. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. Yeah. Cause sometimes you're not there or sometimes they don't ask the question until you show up and then you're like, oh, you're, you're like serious. You don't understand that this isn't a heart transplant. Like I don't have, a team of 75 doctors and the uh, new boiler is already running in the garage and we're just going to pinch off the lines and bring it in and, you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> you got boiler vac. You got That's right. boiler vac coming in. Drop it in. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. That's Sorry. enough on that. Anyway. I'm going to. It is. I got a couple of customers I need to reconnect my, with that I got for to, scheduled jobs coming up. I need to make sure they know make sure. what's going on. Yep. Maybe it was me. Maybe I just had yeah. a weird day. <laughs> well, maybe I'll find yeah. that out when I talk to the next couple of customers. Might right, dude, might find you. out. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. the tip on the you're gonna you're gonna email yeah. that to me, right? Yeah, I'll email it to you. And everybody listening, he's not gonna email it to you. It's just gonna be between him and I. Top secret. You have to it you have to subscribe. Secret. Yeah. Subscribe and subscribe and like and rate. If you get five maybe people to subscribe it. to this podcast, <laughs> Andy will send you his terms. <laughs> So. <laughs> All right, man. See ya. All right. See ya.